Good morning, welcome to week number three in the Saturday morning sofa chat. Hope you've enjoyed the first two so far. So today is a great morning, lovely weather. I don't think I've noticed this week. The uh, it's really turned into to autumn, and we found that things are really the kids back at school. It's been a really really busy week. Um, so this morning we've got Graham. Hello. Cathy. Hi. And um, so it's after um, the weekend last weekend, the Fiesta Italia. It was a great turnout in town. It was really, really busy. Um, and this weekend, I know I'll be popping to the Maritime Museum tomorrow morning for the Lancaster Past and Present exhibition. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'll put some photos on our Facebook page if you look out for those. And um, as I'm doing that, I might see Graham running along the quay. So I'll let you. <laughs> Uh, we're going to tell you what he's up to tomorrow. There's all sorts of events going on in Lancaster and Morecambe as well this week. And um, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning, there's going to be uh, the Lancaster Castle 10K, uh, which takes place. So I'll be taking part in that first ever 10K run. I did the Santa Dash last year. Um, I'm kind of pushing myself this time around to so see if we can do the, uh, the, the 10K. So yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see how we get on with that. And also, the Lancaster um, Jazz Festival continues. It's been running since Wednesday. Uh, it's been really, really great. Um, lots of jazz music all filling the city up. Uh, that continues over the weekend and will be continuing until tomorrow. And also, for those who are planning on getting married um, and are planning their wedding and everything, there's the Lancaster and Morecambe wedding show as well taking place at the platform tomorrow uh, as well. So plenty of things to be um, going to over the weekend. Thank you, and uh, yeah, I, know I didn't get any photos or videos of Graham Dad dancing last week. Uh, if anyone <laughs> sees him this week, get one of his running instead. <laughs> so yeah, Cassie, you've got a story to tell us about April. We have, yeah, so this week um, we've had six completions uh, this week, which is really good. Uh, one that I'm going to be speaking about today is one that we sold on Connell Road. Um, so when Michelle went out to go and value the property, um, the vendors a little bit upset because it used to be their family home and um, it had been rented out to students through a well-established um, company. A little bit upset about the condition of the property as you can imagine it had been their, their family home um, but Michelle gave them some staging tips on how to get it photo ready and some really handy tips which you can also see on our website um, as well um, and we agreed to sale on it on the second day of the marketing and um, five weeks later we completed. Um, so that went earlier this week. Great stuff. So, yeah, some really happy vendors there. Yeah. yeah. Good. And now we've got Michelle who's going to give you the update on how the housing market is performing. Oh my god. Okay, okay. So yeah. 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 <laughs> Make Come on, Michelle. Watch out for cash. Hi everybody. So a lot of people obviously watched my um, property market report, the Lancaster one, I did the um, market gate. And I talked about doom and gloom, you know, housing market from 40% down. But it did say September market's coming, and um, we were really, really hopeful. In fact, I, think it was, I can't wait for September. Well, the good news is the team have actually agreed to 10 house sales this week, um, which actually puts on, is it 15? 15, 15, 15, yeah. Yeah. 14. Um, yeah, so. Yes, I like 15 to 14 days. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> so, yeah, um, three of those I've gone exceptionally quickly. Two didn't even actually hit the housing market because of our registered buyers. Now, today with me, I've got a couple of hops. Um, keys. I had to show you these. They really, really humoured me, as in toilet humour. <laughs> you know, it's the first time in 18 years I have been given a set of keys on a bog roll. <laughs> um, but it was really great because what happened was, it was my first appointment yesterday, and as Jody very nicely jokes and got back, the client sent me off on a roll. Um, <laughs> and after that, I got three more instructions. Clean sheet. Yeah. So anybody with toilet rolls as key rings, clean sheet, I just get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so anybody who's got toilet roll key rings, please give them to me because, uh, well, yeah, on a roll. Lucky charm, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> and, and if you saw the property uh, market report video, we watch it till the end because it's a classic case of uh, video bombing. I know that guy. <laughs> and the best thing is, people have messaged me saying, is it, oh, what's he called? Benny out of Crossroads. Yeah. He had the green beanie hat and everything. <laughs> 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 yes, so I really enjoyed that. Anyway, 
toilet bowl bog roll. And I've got with the prompt. Can somebody get it for me? I want to show off. I mentioned last time um, this. The stickers have arrived. Yay. Can you see that? Yay. Oh, yeah, really pleased about that. So you're going to see that going up everywhere because basically, well, the team have done exceptionally well. Jodie was a superstar here, which actually did um, a lot of the telephone calls that came in. Yeah. Well, yeah, but you know, <laughs> so that's going in our newspaper adverts, it's going in our windows, our emails, you name it, it's going. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love Facebook. <laughs> right. Thank you. Okay, now I have a and a hedge. I always say, say Dave, 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 as we know him. So let's bring on Dave, 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 Dave. Dave, Dave. <laughs> Come on, I'm a bunch of us. Good morning, everybody, and really quick one from me. Um, I've got a very, very busy day full of viewings today. Lots of homes to show people around how to find their um, dream homes. So I'm just saying hello, letting you know. But also, I have a very lovely lady called Helen who's currently looking for a, a two bed terrace home, um, nicely decorated, and plus with a little bit of garden space in the South Lancaster area. So if that's anything that you may have and you're looking to sell, then why not give us a call because she's really looking um, quite hard now and, and desperate to find somewhere. So yeah, give, give us a call. What budget has she got there? Um, I think it's up to about 120,000. Um, so there thereabouts. She does want it all decorated. She doesn't really want to do anything but herself. So if it is decorated, that's perfect. Fabulous. Okay. Yeah. okay. So sorry about that. I'm really up to dash because I'll get, get all my packs ready. Go and meet all my clients. Okay. Happy viewing, Dave. Thank you very much. Day. See you later. Okay. Day. Just move that there so I'll, I'll shut Jody off the screen somehow. It'll be a better thing. Off camera. Have a go. All right. <laughs> Oh God, no, wrong way, wrong way, we'll jump, we'll jump, we'll jump with you, Sarah. We do, yes, so before um, we start getting busy for the day, just one more thing, Sarah's had quite an eventful morning this morning, so Sarah, do you want to come and tell us what's happened? We might even have photographic evidence, can we? I think I might do. Oh, I need to sort of move this camera screen, it's going to frustrate me. There we go. Mm -hmm. Good morning, everybody. So, it was actually last night, not this morning, I... Was being a bit lazy, uh, decided to put some potato waffles in the toaster and set the toaster on fire. <laughs> got a picture. I have a picture. Bear with me a second. So here is my toaster on fire. <laughs> I, really took a I should have, I shouldn't be laughing, but it was quite funny um, after the event. Can I do a quick question? Yes. That picture was yes. that taken before the toast was taken out? No, it was outside. That's that's okay. <laughs> yeah. I just saw your picture a picture first. Yeah. Hi G! <laughs> so no, it was page waffles. Okay, sorry. <laughs> what about cheese? I'm after if I'm not doing them. Anyway, that leads me on to talking about something that has been brought up this week, actually. I don't know how many of you watched Watchdog on, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday night, but they did a little clip on fire alarms. Three separate families with, all with children, they put a standard smoke alarm that we all know outside, right outside the children's bedroom, set it off in the middle of the night when they were in like a deep sleep. Only one of the children stirred which is quite worrying, really, because my smoke alarm was very, very loud last night. And then they showed another clip of something that isn't out yet. They are currently trying to work through it, but it basically is, um, it reminded me of Monsters Inc. Because they set another smoke alarm right outside the bedrooms, but it was, um, it was like a deep voice, like a parent's voice, saying, wake up, the house is on fire, and all of the children woke up. So it's to do with the, help me out guys, the tone, yeah, of, of the voice. So that's, I found it really, really interesting and um, just so happens that last night, yeah, I set my toaster on fire. So ironic really, but something to really, really take note of, um, me being a parent and a grandparent, really, really worried me. Um, so yeah, look out and maybe this is one challenge in the market. Yeah. And really we promised we weren't laughing at set um, <laughs> uh, it's just how she told the story. You know, kind of. And I will put it past Sarah to actually take a picture of this stuff. So before you put it out. So well to getting it out as well. Um yeah so yeah, yeah. Oh. reminder to just and it's easy to, to forget 
Cheshire smoke alarms on a regular basis. You know, you're protected. Can I just tell you one more thing before we go? I've got a fact on this. Yeah, it's great fact on I met a client this week who's done the tour of the castle, and she was telling me where the phrase down under is in Australia came from. Mm -hmm. And apparently, the castle has the central court. Yeah. Um, and of course, back in the days where we sent prisoners off to Australia, the judge wouldn't send them to us. What's that? Send him down under. Yeah, and just go down, down the tunnel, down, uh, down the steps, through the tunnel, down to St George's Key, get on the ship, oh, and if it says where it's on the ship, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. yeah, and that is where the phrase down under originates from. Well, there you go, educational as well on a Saturday morning. <laughs> Right, Cassie's got phone calls coming in, so is that us? Yeah. Yeah, so thank you very much. I see we've got people watching, so hello and thank you all for watching. Hi. And, uh, oh, Josh has commented, first time for everything. I've had some odd key rings brought in, but never anything. So is that? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so thank you so much for watching. We'll be back again next Saturday for the fourth so for Saturday chat. So have a great day, enjoy this weather, and we will see you later. Bye. 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 Cassie in her mouth. That ended.